Hey, Jeff Go here, and welcome to the actual YouTube analytics update for you. So if you're listening to this, it, me, it might be that I'm interrupting your uh, actual uh, watching time on YouTube. If I do, check it out if you want to learn about uh, how to grow a YouTube channel at a very slow snail pace and uh, what I'm doing differently um, uh, by using advertisement and things like this and actually see behind the scenes stats like you see right on the screen here. So uh, this YouTube channel, uh, mine, this is not my first one. Um, uh, started in uh, March 23rd, 2017, and currently right now, uh, it's a July 5th, but um, I'm pulling the data all the way from July 1st, and you can see kind of the, the growth, right, of this. But um, if you want to know why there's certain types of growth, it all has to do with uh, literally this little tracker sheet here. So there should be a tracker sheet somewhere in the description where you can actually see. And then you can see the number of subscribers, and you can see I have a whopping 150 subscribers. Whoopee! Um, powerful growth here at 11.85%. Total videos I have is 305, um, and uh, total uh, views is 32,000. And the category you probably want to look at is right here, ad spend. So I've been spending uh, a, a calculated amount, and you can see here it's been going up, right? from 60 in a month, and this is a month, right? And then it kind of jumps from January, April to July, and the reason why it jumps is I just had a daughter. Uh, so uh, because of that, I haven't been able to do the updates every single month, so I apologize for that. But the point of the matter is, I think more important is uh, the total ad spend. So I decided to put this new category in here with a total ad uh, spend in here. So uh, since April of uh, 2017 till now, a little over a year now, I've spent on YouTube $1,710 uh, on my personal Personal YouTube channel. Now I've spent uh, significantly a lot more uh, for my clients and myself on my other uh, channels, uh, but I'm including this on here to see what can actually happen. Um, just letting it run, okay? And um, if you see the YouTube money here, okay, the YouTube money is the something that you get paid for on cost per impressions or CPM, and, and why a lot of YouTubers want to get in the YouTube game because people think like, oh my gosh, you're gonna make millions off these YouTube videos, and that, and the and the truth is. No, it's not, okay? You make about maybe, depending on what your content is, for every thousand views, maybe a dollar to three dollars if you're in more of like a financial industry or something like that, right? Um, then some of the views can go up to uh, like eight dollars and things like that, depending on how niche you are. But obviously, the more niche you are, there's less viewers or less people searching for it, right? So point is I have this on here so you can follow along and then I think what will be even more cooler is the strategy section where where I kind of update as I do new strategy this is a tab that I started implementing this year so what I decided to do this uh, this time when I reviewed this account I spent a good maybe 30 minutes reviewing it okay so I don't spend too much time reviewing it. I probably should uh, a lot more but it's not my core business okay but I want to show what, what's possible so so when I did this you can see here I literally did the ad schedule update so I'm now only only going to be running this uh, uh, advertisement uh, from for my videos in the early a.m. and nighttime, and uh, uh, n later on I might turn off the Mondays. Okay, and here's the reason why I might do this: is if you look at the stats. Uh, let me go ahead and get into the stats. Okay. Um, oh, before I go into the AdWords stat, take a look at this uh, uh, YouTube uh, Studio Beta. So it looks a little bit more different. It looks cooler, I think, but um, it doesn't really help you much in terms of insight, in my opinion. Okay. Um, but the one I want to show you is here. Okay. Boom. Okay. So here it is. Okay. So here's the ad scheduling component. So I'm going to be running this from uh, 12 a.m. to 9 a.m. All right, and then from there, the during the day it doesn't run, and then it pops up back again from 7 p.m. to uh, uh, midnight. All right. Now the reason why I did that is because I realized, looking at the stats on my account, that most of my quote unquote, you see here where it says earned views, right? Earned views occur, um, occur, occur. <laughs> occur when someone views your video ad then later watches another video on your linked YouTube channel within seven days of initial view. You aren't charged for earned views, but multiple views from the same person are counted as single earned views. So I am doing this to earn what? people to come back to my content and be able to hopefully they're coming back because they're getting value out of my content and this is the reason why I do it and I've come to realize that people come back to the channel typically in the late at night okay after seven o'clock all the way till midnight and then early mornings okay so maybe when they wake up or something like that or for whatever reason they're seeing that and during the day they really don't watch it 
Okay, so I turned it off. And then from there, I've also noticed that if I look at some other stats in here, on um, which day, I've come to realize that you see this earn view, right? Look at this. Mondays and Saturdays are the lowest ones at 20 and 21. And if you look at Sundays and Thursdays and Fridays, this is literally almost about 100% more than earn views I get on um on a Friday, th Thursday, Friday, and Sunday versus Saturday and Monday. So the next round as I'm running this ad, I'm probably gonna turn off Monday probably um, because it's so low and probably maybe turn off Saturday as well and maybe even Tuesday, I don't know. I haven't decided yet, but we'll find out based on running this new little test that I'm doing. And um, that's kind of the game plan that I have here. And bottom line is this, okay? What you'll find out is this is on YouTube, right? Okay, a guy like me, all right, um, is spending money on uh, advertisement but it's not growing as fast now I have an idea why um, why is because my content is kind of wide meaning it's not concentrated and I'm not spending uh, the time that's probably required uh, that most people that don't know who I am will actually enjoy okay meaning that you know if you know who I am and know what I do and things like that right and how I make money what kind of businesses I run and my background and seeing some of my other videos then you'll probably be like oh okay Jeff is dropping content without the flair and without the the high edits and things like that right um, um, versus if you don't know who I am, people are just used to a certain quality all right, a certain standard of their YouTube videos, um, especially with jump cutting if you're younger, right? Um, like a millennial or a Gen Y, you like jump cutting and you don't like the long winded stories um, and you just want to get the answer like, now right okay versus uh, a lot of my clients that I work with and a lot of the people that I predominantly uh, sell products and services to are uh, literally the age of my parents and or uh, slightly younger right okay so it's kind of a disconnect as we're doing this on YouTube and as I'm running this ad uh, and things like that and running advertisement um, I can see that hey the young people sort of kind of like it but also at the same time they're probably very cynical about it uh, meaning that they're like okay is this guy real okay well wow, big deal this guy's spending money running ads for what reason and it's like ah you know um, but the point is I'm doing it as a case study so you can learn from this okay that it's not as easy as people think on growing a YouTube channel you have to be very strategic about it and uh, in the last quarter of this year um, as I free up more time I am going to drop more targeted content which I was supposed to start in uh, April right okay but I just had my daughter and in, it says intentional content okay but I'm gonna reverse engineer and give actually probably different types of content where I'm gonna tell a little bit more of my uh, personal story, uh, uh, stories of what has happened in my, uh, in my 20s and things like that as now I'm in my 30s, okay? Where I think a lot of the younger generation may be able to learn uh, from some of the mistakes that I, I've made, but more importantly, uh, maybe the thought process on why I did the things that I did and maybe hopefully you can learn from them so that way you don't make those same mistakes because, you know, listen, Listen, there's a there's a old quote that says this a smart man learns from what a smart man learns from his mistake all right but a wise man will learn from the smart man and never make that mistake so the purpose of all of this is kind of part of legacy right but also at the same time so you can actually learn from this and be a smart not a smart person right because smart people learn from their mistakes so you can be a wise person and learn from other people's mistakes and then be able to not make those so that way you can guess what have the successes that you're looking to do uh, or to be able to learn a few things or you know one or two three handful and maybe even dozen tons of stuff uh, from uh, hopefully from the stories I tell okay so that's what I got for you on this update of the July 2018 uh, Jeff Koga YouTube channel uh, um, analytics updates so that's what I got. Um, if you like this kind of stuff, make sure you check out the other ones so that way I can see that, hey, you know what? I got an earned view and uh, hopefully you can come back and uh, get some more value. And if you did get any value at all, feel free to go and share this and or leave a comment below. Um, I'm a real guy and I will respond back um, as some of you guys have already reached out uh, to me has, okay? So that's what I got. Love you guys. Thank you so much for uh, listening to uh, this video. Uh, take care and bye-bye.